Welcome to the very first video of World of Warcraft Classic Art Core. Today we're going to play a Night Elf Druid. Yes, because we can't play uh, Druids on any other class or any other race. So we're going to look like this, looking good. And we're going to call ourselves... Uh, Master YouTube. Cool. Good name, good name. Uh, disable add-ons. Oh, it's already disabled. Uh, we can watch the intro. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to smack that like, subscribe if you're new. Anyway, let's play. For 10,000 years, the immortal Night Elves cultivated a druidic society within the shadowed recesses of Ashenvale Forest. Yet recently, the catastrophic invasion of the Burning Legion shattered the tranquility of their ancient civilization. Led by the Arc Druid Malfurion Stormrage and the Priestess Tyranda Whisperwind, the mighty Night Elves rose to challenge the demonic onslaught. Though victorious, the Night Elves were forced to sacrifice their cherished immortality and watch their beloved forests burn. Seeking to regain their immortality, a number of wayward druids conspired to plant a special tree that would link their spirits to the eternal world. Despite Malfurion's warnings that nature would never bless such a selfish act, the druids planted the great tree Teldrassil off the stormy coasts of northern Kalimdor. Within the twilight boughs of the colossal tree, the wondrous city of Darnassus took root. However, the great tree was not consecrated with nature's blessing and soon fell prey to the corruption of the Burning Legion. Now the wildlife and even the limbs of the great tree itself are tainted by a growing darkness. As one of the few night elves still left in the world, it is your sworn duty to defend Darnassus and the wild children of nature against the legion's encroaching corruption. Bro, we barely start and we already see a guy face floor looking for smarties on the ground. That's not good. <laughs> hey, our add-ons is loaded. Great greetings, adventurer. I am Conservator Ilthalane. My purpose in Shadowglen is to ensure that the balance of nature is maintained. The spring rains were particularly heavy this year causing some of the forest's beasts to flourish, while others suffered. Unfortunately, the Nightsaber and Thistlebore populations grew too large. Shadowglen can only produce so much food for the beasts. Journey forth, young adventurer, and thin the boar and saber populations so that nature's harmony will be preserved. Smack it like it's hot. I can see clearly now mana issues. I don't know what we're going to level as, guys. It's going to be a problem, I think. Because if we're going to level as a, as a healer, we should only play then uh, if we're going to just... Oh, well done. I, I think he waited for me to attack. Uh, we should then only play dungeons on repeat all the time. Leveling as a healer is kind of annoying on hardcore because you can only do dungeons once per day. There's a reset timer, I don't know what it is. And it's also risky, right? But the thing is, you'll be super geared. Um, and you'll have zero problems, dude. The only problems you might run into is if you um, if you have a tank that's like brain dead, I would say. But on average, I think Druids is maybe the best healer. I I, I always felt like that that Druids is the best healer in the game. Oh, 
I was about to drink. Other other option is to level as balance. Now the problem with that is I feel like balance is gonna you're gonna sit and drink the whole time, dude. Like honestly, you're gonna drink the whole game long. The problem is also you don't even have anything. It's gonna help you. Right? You you can beg a, a mage for some food, I guess, but... The other option is to go as a bear. Go as feral, you'll be cat form later, right? The problem is, if you play feral, everyone will want you to tank in dungeons, and... I don't really want to tank in hardcores, dude. I don't trust healers, do you? So, for me, it's caster or it's not at all. It's a healer or it's not at all. I think there's almost nothing in between. Ish, you performed your duties well, adventurer. Good luck. Thinning the younger population of creatures here in Shadow Glen was a good start, adventurer. But there is still work to be done. The resources of the forest will be depleted too quickly if the problem is not addressed. Killing nature's beasts is a necessary evil for the good of all who share the land. Venture into the forest and slay mangy nightsabers and thistle boars in the name of balance. This sigil was given to me by a messenger from our druid trainer, Mardant. It seems Mardant would have words with you when you have a moment. Read it and bring it to him afterwards. Thank goodness you are here, adventurer. Strange news has traveled to me through the whisperings of the forest spirits. The mysterious woodland protector, Tarindrella, has returned to Shadow Glen. The Dryad's presence has not been felt in the forests of Kalimdor in years. Something is surely amiss if she has journeyed back to this land. Seek out Tarindrella and see what business she tends to in our grove. One of the sentinels reported seeing her to the southwest of Aldrasil. A friend of mine named Ivorin usually visits me at the same time every day. The strange thing is that he hasn't been by today at all. He's several hours late, in fact. I admit I am a little worried, adventurer. Ivorin spends a lot of time over by the cave to the north. And I'm sure you know how dangerous it is there. Spiders everywhere. If you happen to be going that way, though, will you keep an eye out for him? So what is your thoughts in the comments, guys? Let me know. Because, like... I want to level as fast as I can, also. But as safe as possible. I think leveling as a healer, you'll just dungeon spam. So like, once you reach level, I don't even know, 20-ish, you can dungeon spam two dungeons already. Which is the one by Crossroads. Which I don't know, I, 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 I'm not keen to run all the way there. But it's one by Crossroads, and then it's it's uh, the one in Westfall. Dead Mines. Grab a drink. I don't think we'll ever need food.
Got a new belt. Okay, that one's done. We just need six more bars, goodness. And by the way, I'm considering redoing my rogue also as a human. Uh, just because it's better when it comes to weapons, and weapons is gonna become a, such a big problem late game. Because I can already see the problem, dude. Like, I'm I'm almost never hitting with my offhand. And I think it's only going to get worse from here. I decided to go with Night Elf because it would be easier to level, having that dodge chance. But after looking at a guide, what people say, what what, what people talk about, they say it's just dog poop. It's like two percent dodge extra. It's so bad. You have like twenty seven percent by just having agility. So like. Night Elf is so bad when it comes to the rogue. Oh, that resist. I mean, the odds of you playing with a dagger anyway, like, I don't like sub subity. I also think subity is pretty bad when it comes to raiding. It's not very good consistent damage. You must probably will play with a sword or and or mace. Oh, it's upstairs. Peace be with you. Go in peace. I am honored. Goddess watcher. Oh, it's not here. I came to Shadow Glen to observe the webwood spiders that dwell in the Shadow Thread Cave. They are cousin to a much smaller variety of spider. I believe the World Tree has had a profound effect on them, and I would like specimens to study to confirm this. First, I would like some of their venom. Gather webwood venom sacs from the spiders in and around the Shadow Thread Cave to the north. I can then examine them for similarities with their smaller cousin's venom. 
I am listening. Welcome, my sister. If you are here to train, then I would be delighted to train you. There will be a time soon where the call of the Emerald Dream will take hold in you. You will hibernate for many years and walk amongst the purest of forms. It is there and then that your ultimate training will take place. I will be your mentor and guide for now. It is my duty to teach you how to interpret not only what the spirits communicate to us, but also the complexities and secrets of the Emerald Dream. As you learn and grow in power, you will learn more of our sleeping trance. But until then, return to me as often as you like, and I will teach you what I can in the ways of our kind. Okay, so we have our Mark of Wild. I remember it being better than that, bro. Like, Oh, there we go. And all the tributes by two. Okay, there we go. So only at rank two is actually good. Looks like before rank two, it's pretty bad. It just gives 35 armor. 25 armor, it's even worse. Goodness. It does nothing... So, I mean, so far, the character I enjoy the most would be the Warlock, number one. I'm so glad you found me, adventurer. And Priest would be number two. Here. Oh, I was bitten very badly by a spider named Githius the Vile while exploring the spider cave very close to here. I am sure I have been seriously poisoned. You must help me. Please tell Didania Silvershine. She will be able to help me. Hurry. I'm so dizzy. But obviously, I'm not going to choose what we play. It's it's up to you guys. What part one does well? We'll continue on with that, that, uh, that hero. If there's others doing well, we'll continue on with those as well. At the end of the day, I'm just a slut for Veers. Whatever you guys decide, that's what we'll play. So make sure you smack that like button on the heroes you want me to play, dude. Again, we're playing on EU West Stitches if you want to join. You have proven your dedication to nature well, adventurer. A young adventurer like yourself has a promising future. And again, if uh, for some reason not a single one of the videos does well, we just uninstall. Then this, uh, then the series will not work on the channel. So it's up to you guys whether we even play the game to begin with. I was wondering why I hadn't seen Iveron yet today, and I've always warned him about those spiders. We may be able to help Ivorin, as I know of an antidote that should help with the poison. It requires some ingredients, though, before I can make it. I'll need hyacinth mushrooms. You can find these growing under trees, or you may collect them from the Grell south of here. They seem to have taken a liking to them. I'll also need moon petal lilies, which only grow around watery pools. The last ingredient may prove the most difficult. From the very spiders that poisoned Ivorin, collect webwood ichor. When it comes to professions, I feel like the safest thing we can do is just... If we're going to play a caster, like, tailoring is actually not that bad. I know of a, a lot, especially in um, Season of Discovery, I know of a lot of druids that went tailoring, enchanting.
He's a hunter. Okay, that worked out. What is nature's call? To take dumps. That's what I would know what nature's call is. Taking lots of shards. What is nature's call for you, girl? Tell me your secrets. All of it. Okay, we need to grab some flowers here. Again, it seems like we're going to be so unlucky that we're not even going to get a bag. Spiders have higher resist to nature. Guide is telling us to die and res. Are you sure about that? Kill it. Kill it with fire. Oh. 
Game Resist, ma bri. The bad thing is that druids don't have a wand. They have a relic. And the relic is just stats. So it's not very great. Inventory is full. Great. Yeah, I don't think we have to go in here. We have to come back here later. Two people outside. not done. Okay, we'll make our way back. So far, so good. Serious inventory problems, dude.
Hello. Thank you, adventurer. When I return to Darnassus, I will compare the venom within these sacks with the venom of other spiders. It is my belief that it will have properties linked to the recent growth of our new world tree. Now that I have the spider's venom, I'd like some live specimens to study. Unfortunately, capturing a living giant spider is more than I can ask of you, young adventurer. And a giant spider is more than I could handle myself. But if you can find an unhatched egg, then delivering specimens will be much easier. And I can then arrange for the unhatched spiders to be contained. There must be a nest deep in the Shadow Thread Cave. Please search for an egg in the nest and return it to me. Okay, this is the antidote, I think. I these ingredients so quickly. In just a moment, I will have the antidote prepared. The antidote is ready, adventurer. Please see that Ivorin drinks it. There is something that you should know, the antidote. It will only remain viable for five minutes. You must get it to him in time. Speed be with you, adventurer. So let's go ahead and this antidote. Yeah, I'm considering to redo the the rogue gameplay. Just make it human from the get-go. Have weapon uh, weapon skills instead. Increase spurt, heal out of combat. Because the dodge chance is cool, but like I think it's completely unnecessary. What is this adventurer? Oh, I knew Durania would be able to help me. I'm always getting into trouble and Durania, well, she always manages to help me out of it. I'm feeling much better, but I think I will sit here for a while longer until I feel completely better. Well, that and I was hoping you'd clear a path for me through those vicious webwood spiders. Slap it like it's hot. Hmm, 26 crit, dude. So, okay, well, we're not... The staff is not quite doing as much damage as I one would. But it still ain't that bad. It's like pretty pretty good horror movie music they're playing. That guy is dead. Oh. 
I wonder if he got killed by the bigger spider upstairs. And just fell down. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's just have a look here. We get thorns as well. Moonfire. So what we can do is we can double wrath moonfire and just auto attack. Because the auto attacks is still pretty good damage. So there's the big spotter protecting the eggs. So grab an egg and then we'll hearth. Get out of aggro range. It says grind the cave until level 6. a big chest dude a big daddy's chest oh. we can actually fight our way out also then been so much faster if we had more drinks. But I think Double Wrath Double Wrath Moonfire would be the way to go, I think. There's a chest.
So Wrath Increase also at level 6. We got 15 copper and a plain vest. Twenty mana waste if if they resist. It's kind of painful. No, if it's both, we might die. Not getting random drinks from them also. I think running out of here, we're not even going to reach level 4. Or level 6, sorry. Inventory is still full. So this is just not a great farm for us. Because of how much resistance they have to nature. I think we're just making our way back. Yeah. 
Nah, that's not hearth. Right here. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those games again where we just don't have any bags. Fun, dude. Very, very fun, dude. Can I? Ah, very good. I will have this egg and the venom transported to Darnassus, and then return there when my studies are done here. I expect to find out a great deal from these specimens, adventurer. You have been a great help to me. Adventurer, is it? I heard that Teneron has been asking for you. You'll find him in the highest room atop Aldrasil. We may live long lives, but it's best you not keep him waiting too long. Welcome, my sister. If you're here to train, then I would be delighted to train you. There will be a time soon where the call of the Emerald Dream will take hold in you. You will hibernate for many years and walk amongst the purest of forms. It is there and then that your ultimate training will take place. Uh, Click. Oopsie. Click. Uh, we want... Why is it not showing all my skills here, man? Riju, where where is my Riju, dude? Healing touch, Mark Riju. Okay, there we go. Ah, adventurer. I was hoping you'd be prompt in answering my summons. I have an important task that I would like you to perform. It is time for you to set out to seek your destiny, adventurer. But before you are ready to set out into the world beyond our enchanted forests, there is much you must learn about our recent history. Much has changed with our people since the Battle of Mount Hyjal. Nordrassil lies a pale shadow of what it once was, its power used to defeat Archimonde and drive back the Burning Legion. There is a task you must perform. Go to the Moonwell north of Aldrassil and return me a file of its water. The loon light your Okay, so now we go macro, and this will become a cast sequence. Uh, our uh, reset, reset equals target slash one. It will be Wrath, Wrath, Moonfire. So, let's test this out.
I mean, this is not working. There we go. And that's what we'll do. Rathrath Moonfire, auto-attack, and let Thorns do its job. And that will be our rotation. And whenever we need healing, we just do a Riju. Oh, is that a shaman? That kind of looks like it. Uh, I think this one is all the way up, dude. So, roots not needed, healing touch to we'll get that. I mean, root is not bad if you want to split up enemies, so we'll, we'll get it. So then we get bear, it, bear stuff, right? So we have Demoralizing Shout, we have Mark of the Wild 2, Moonfire Reju. So there's Regrowth. We're gonna redo regrowth, most probably only needed for healing, but we'll see. So you have heard the first part of the aftermath of the Battle of Mount Hyjal. There is much more to be told, and the task you have begun here will continue through the rest of your journey through Teldrassil and into Darnassus. While there is more I could speak to you of the Moon Wells and of Teldrassil, I must send you along. Corythrus Moonrage will be expecting you. I have poured the file of water you brought to me into this vessel to bring to him. Seek out Corythrus. You will find him at the Moon Well in Dolinar. Follow the road south from Aldrasil, out of Shadowglen, and continue to follow the cobblestones as the road turns west. Mind you stay on the road, though, adventurer. There are dangerous beasts in the forests of late. Greetings, young adventurer. Can you offer me aid? I have a package of herbs that I must deliver to the town of Dolinar, but I still have business with the druids of Shadowglen and cannot yet leave. Can you deliver this package for me? It must be sent to Innkeeper Keldemir at the Dolinar Inn. It lies along the road to the south. I want to kill spiders. We need seven spider legs. You again? Yes, me again. Oopsie. Spiders are scarce, dude. I mean, someone just killed them all.
That crit though, it's juicy. How much mana it takes Wrath to now? 35. So rank 1 is 20. So thorns do damage back to the target. Causes three damage to the attackers. That's why you see a lot of small numbers. And arcane uh, or moonfire also does overtime damage. So it's do a double wrath because why not? You know, it does good damage. And then. And then Th Thorns does return damage, Moonfire does overtime damage, and we could just auto attack since we also do pretty decent damage with the stuff. Resisted my moonfire. Which is weird though, because Moonfire is Arcane, and they don't have increased resistances to Arcane. But they have the odd number to resist, so it does make sense somewhat. Killing pretty fast, actually. So now we need more owls. Come on, my buddy. This owl should spawn again. 
Let's learn cooking and then cook some. Hello, adventurer. If you'd like to learn a thing or two about cooking, please visit me at any time. Ishnu Allah. Quest item. May the stars guide you. Okay, one of the owls respawned. Mm, that crit is juicy. Mm. I'll take initiative here. Seven spot legs not gonna happen anytime soon. Why is the level 40 warrior here? Yeah, it's whatever. Let's just grab all these quests. A lot of dialogue is gonna happen. Obviously, I don't want to talk about like over the dialogue. So, Hello. the council of the forest has news that you aided Zen Foulhu. The satyr is an enemy of the forest. As a person, you should know better than to defile the forest by killing nature's creatures. You must redeem yourself in the eyes of the council if you wish to remain a friend of Teldraso. Teach Foulhoof a lesson and you shall be redeemed. Fell cones are corrupted seeds that fall from the trees. They billow with green smoke. Give some to Foulhoof. He'll think you have brought him a harmless snack. Are you heading to the south? To Lake al Amath? If so, then I have a task I might ask of you. My colleague Denelin has a camp along the eastern end of the lake where he is studying and experimenting on the plant life of Teldrassel. He requested a package of rare earths from Darnassus, and it was late, only recently arriving here in Dolinar. Can you take the package to him? A troubling breeze blows through the forest. Gairolus Talvathrin serves as great warden to the hibernating druids of the Talon in the Van Ethel Barrow Den. His duty as the chosen protector of the sleeping is to ensure their safety so that their pact with Isera remains fulfilled. But word from Garolus is now delayed and I grow nervous. Travel east to Starbreeze Village and bring back a report from Garolus so that I can put my worries to rest, knowing my dreaming brethren slumber safely. I was once given an emerald dreamcatcher from Garolus Talvethan, the warden of the druids in the Ban Ethil Barrow Den. This powerful amulet is able to siphon energy from the Emerald Dream, bestowing luck upon those who carry it. Sadly, I have not been able to retrieve it from my dresser in Starbreeze Village. Although Starbreeze was once a tranquil place, 
it has now succumbed to the corruption of the furball that reside there. Perhaps you would be willing to recover my dreamcatcher, adventurer. I must warn you, adventurer. This matter must stay between us. The satyr are enough of an embarrassment to us already. And this one is much too close to home. He is called Lord Melanus. He resides in the nearby cave of Fell Rock, where he has gathered a large group of Grell warriors. His heart is black as night, and he plots something most foul. You must find him within his nearby cave just to the north of here, and bring me his head. Ah, yes, the delivery of herbs from Shadowglen. It is a shame Porthanius could not bring it himself, for we have much to discuss, he and I. But I'm glad to get the herbs nonetheless, and I'm glad you came. While you are here, please, rest yourself. Heroes must keep their strength and spirits high, and must find rest and solace whenever they may. For to neglect one's peace of body and mind is a sure path to failure. So, rest. Ah, I see. You were sent by Teneron. Well then, it would seem we have much to talk about, much to do, and little time to do it in. I think we'd best get started. First, let me tell you more of the task you must complete. The druids in Darnassus use the water of the moon wells of Teldrassil, and their moon well must be replenished from time to time. Using these specially crafted files, you can collect the water of the moon wells. Take this vessel to the moon well outside of Star Breeze Village to the east, and fill it with some of its waters, then return to me. When you have completed your task, I shall continue the story where Teneron left off. Long ago, the Night Elves were called the Kaldore, a name that means Children of the Stars. Learning of the past is an important step in your path as an adventurer, adventurer. So listen well to what I have to tell you. The Kaldore have always taken much pride in their harmonious relationship with nature. This means that we only take from nature what is necessary, and that we return in kind. This balance has afforded us much, adventurer. Go out and collect seven small spider legs, no more than that, and return to me. Thank the forest spirits you are here. I knew a three dust would sense trouble and send help. The Gnarlpine tribe has been corrupted. The once peaceful Furbogs have turned against the protectors of the forest. They ambushed me as I left for the Banathil Barrow Den and proceeded to pillage Starbreeze Village. Ursal, the Mauler, their chieftain, is using the evil powers of the Fell Moss to drive them mad. I'm too wounded to return to Athridas to bring him this grave news. The task is left to you, young adventurer. We can only hope that the deranged Gnarlpines have not made it to Banathil yet. No, don't resist. Okay, at least the other one critted. It's a decent place to farm because we're supposed to get some silk. But we're getting like almost nothing. Grind until level 7 
two and a half thousand XP. And I'm gonna say it again, this is a pretty good farm because we get our cloth. But we should also get more experience by handing in those legs. Those spider legs. get foul cones here also. Don't you just love it when there is when there is this huh? Love it. I live for those moments soon. Don't see any icons here. Another one. We've quite a few drinks now. Got the last one here. That's what I'm talking about. Just gotta get those seven spider legs, dude.
One more, good to go. Job's done. Hey, the level's 50 player or whatever is gone. I don't know, bro. You tell me. You know what is what, but you don't know what is what. It resists when fire. That's just great. By the way, I don't think thorns can crit. You. Always remember what I have shown you today, adventurer. You are part of the balance that the Night Elves strive to keep intact, even during troublesome times. Where's that scroll? There it is. It's cooking ten. My goods are of the highest quality. Are you sure about that? Good luck, friend. I'm after the Battle of Mount Hyjal, we were without direction. Nordressel smoked from the fire it unleashed, and our immortality, the very essence of our beings, was lost. It was in this trying time that the betrayer was freed from his prison, and Shando's storm rage disappeared. A dark time for all. There is another moon well southeast of the entrance to Darnassus on the shores of the pools of Arlithrian. The Sentinels are having problems patrolling the area because of attacks and the growing ill-temperedness of the Gnarlpeen Furbogs. Be wary as you seek out the well and keep your weapons close at hand. By the stars, this is quite disturbing indeed. Gnarlpine invaders were seen ravaging the Banethil Barrow Den to the west. The slumbering druids will be trapped in the Emerald Dream for eternity, unaware of their fate unless we help. The delicate hibernation ritual cannot be broken without the relics of wakening. 
journey to the den and retrieve the Ravenclaw talisman, black feather quill, sapphire of sky, and rune of nesting. The druids store them in sacred chests. Return them to me, and I will prepare the awakening ritual. My emerald dreamcatcher is of great importance to me. It is a gift only given to few. Thank you for returning it, adventurer. The emerald. It is missing. My dreamcatcher has been damaged. There is a band of Gnarlpine mystics located to the north of Starbreeze. I have heard reports that their leader, Ferocitas the Dream Eater, has been wearing a necklace that glows green in the night. Now, seeing my dream catcher, I am sure that he has stolen my emerald. He would never realize that its power is useless to him. Find this missing jewel, adventurer, and while you're there, clear out some of the corrupted mystics as well. How would I clear you out, eh? Okay, so we just bought a new staff. So we'll do more auto attack damage now. Hunter with his pet already. I'm pretty sure he's happy. for this rare earth for quite some time. I hope it's still fresh. Thank you for bringing it to me, adventurer. You are a traveler who is generous with her time. The timberlings of Teldrassil are elementals of nature. In some ways, they reflect the natural order of plants and animals on our great tree. So it is disturbing to see how angry the timberlings have become. I believe it has something to do with the soil. I've been working on different methods of nurturing plants and would like to try them on timberling seeds. Please, can you gather seeds from timberlings around Lake Alameth and bring them to me? No. Small timberlings are sprouting around the waters of Lake Alameth. I'm afraid these sprouts are beyond help. We should try to clear them from the land before they grow large enough to cause trouble. When you're wandering the lake, if you see any timberling sprouts, please take them. Help keep our land clean. Now DPS is really high. seven our dps is 15 and we have no mana issues with this rotation Correct, it's just game over, man. Yeah. 
Even if you don't crit, our damage is pretty good still. See. Forgot I'm a caster. How dare you? Found the last one. I just got to kill three more enemies. And easy peasy, Bob's your uncle. But is Bob your uncle though? I don't have an uncle named Bob. Not in my language. <laughs> Greetings. That's a lot. I'm afraid they're spreading at a dangerous rate. I hope I can solve the riddle of what is tainting them. Thank you for your help, adventurer. The land is a cleaner place from your efforts. Two more to go. Job's done. What green? You got them. This is good. I will plant these seeds in special soil I have prepared. I believe the seeds will sprout into timberlings who are much more docile. Perhaps later you can see the results. Adventurer, can you take one of the seeds you brought me to my friend, Relian Greenspire? He is a druid in Darnassus, and when last we spoke, he revealed his interest in my work with the Timberlings. He had some ideas himself, and he will appreciate a specimen seed to work with. Thank you, adventurer. You have been a great help to me. I hope that someday you will see the fruit of my labors. You will usually find Relian walking the pathways of the Cenarian Enclave in Darnassus. No problem, I always help what I can, okay? Except the road to Darnassus. I guess we gotta run now. But before we go, go. Let's clear our inventory. I am listening. Hello, adventurer. If you'd like to learn a thing or two about cooking, please visit me at any time. 
we can get two more eggs, we can actually get... Oh, man. I'm not gonna wait then. Can actually get our strength up quite a bit. Well, I mean... Our inventory emptied out a bit. I am honored. Good luck, friend. The road to Darnassus must be kept safe. Travelers heading from Dolinar to Darnassus have been reporting ruthless attacks by corrupted fur bogs from the Gnarlpine tribe. Important news and commerce travels to and from Darnassus by way of this road daily. We cannot afford to have a rogue band of heathen terrorizing people. Take up arms in the name of the sacred forest adventurer. Their den lies somewhere below this vantage point. Slay six of these Gnarlpine ambushers and report back to me. Grind until level nine. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Look how far away nine is. So far away still. Let's kill one more. Okay, now we need to cross the um, the road there. Get to the next location, which I think is a, a, it's not a boss, it's not an elite though. It is a harder enemy to kill, but it's not like an, an elite, I think. When I played the rogue, I did this with someone, I also remember that.
Is there already someone in the cave? They want us to grind to level 10, or level 9, sorry. By enemies, that's level 5, dude. I think it's... Oh, snap, dude. That's the only one we need to kill. Grind to level 9. Must be out of your mind, dude. There's just no way I'll grind to nine. Not even slightly. Still a half a level to go. So he wants me to, to, to farm two and a half thousand experience. That's a no from me, dog. You have served the good people of Dolinar and Darnassus well, brave adventurer. 
As a member of the Sentinel Force of Teldrassil, I salute your efforts. Glowing fruit available. We have no more free slots available as well. Inventory is full. As long as we don't get dazed, we're fine. We could just keep running. Don't need this shitty food. It's not an ingredient, by the way. Oh snap. Oh, it's still coming. Okay, turn around now. That was a bit closer than I wanted it to be. Oh man, there's no safe path here. There's no safe path, you most probably will have to make one. Most of the time. So Moonfire level 2, Regio level 2, Mark of the Wild 2. It's pretty big upgrades we're getting at level 10. Now is it as big as a hunter? No.
Is it as big as a rogue? No. Rogue gets steel wield. At level 10. Is it as big as Warriors level 10? I'm not too sure. I can't remember, I can't remember what Warriors get at level 10. Is it as good as war, uh, Warlocks? No. Uh, Warlocks get... I'm pretty sure at level 10 they get their Voidling. Which is by far their best pet for leveling up. But you do get bear form as a druid at level 10 if you go do those quests. Most probably won't even do those quests though at 10. Die on purpose. Uh, is our heart so north cologne? Yes, it is. Increasing our armor. I think I'll take the 25 copper. Peace. Shando Stormrage never returned, and the druids were in disarray. And to this day, we still do not know what became of him. With Malfurion missing, Archdruid Fandral Staghelm took over the leadership of the Druids, convincing the Circle of Ancients in Darkshore that it was time for our people to rebuild, and that it was time for our people to regain their immortality. With the approval of the Circle, Staghelm and the most powerful Druids grew Teldrassil, the New World Tree. All was not well with Teldrassil, however, Staghelm's carefully made plans for the New World Tree had borne out as he had hoped, but there was one small problem, a problem to which many of the troubles on Teldrassil may be attributed. However, I will not get into that yet. You must visit the last Moonwell to the northwest in the Oracle Glade. Under the boughs of the Oracle Tree lies the first and most powerful of our wells. Retrieve a file of its water and return to me. Stop with this die on purpose bullshit, dude. Honestly. All these deaths on purpose feels like... Like, even if you were not playing, um... Hardcore. Feels like you're gonna spend all your money to repair everything. But I mean, you can also remove your gear and then die, but how much effort is that? Didn't get an egg. We need one more. Yeah, we need two more small eggs.
Let's probably have to fight both at the same time. So we just reached level 9. Jewel. A little annoying that they're casters, the dudes we have to kill. Do, 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 do. We need one more. So this guy was probably will be the highest level then. Did it outpace my priest? I'm not too sure. I'm honestly not too sure. We need one more, man. Nobody got time to wait. <laughs> you also know. Now that I think of this, there's one of the best guides, if not the best guide in in WoW. I actually bought the leveling up guide to 60. I yes, hardcore level 60. I remember I bought that guide. But it's only for Horde. Hmm. So our last character that I still want to make is a mage, right? I mean, that guide is free until level 20. Anyway. It's called Rested XP. 
I remember I did buy a guide. I can't remember what it was, but I think it was uh, the hardcore guide for Horde. So what, we still want to make a mage. And then we could also potentially make a shaman. I feel like I want to redo my rogue as well. I'm not happy with Night Elf Rogue. See, if we play a horde, what will be the rogue? What brings you? Now I can repair my dreamcatcher. Thank you, adventurer. With Lord Malena's laid to rest, I can finally move on to other matters. Thank you, adventurer. No problem, quest giver. Hello. Uh, we need. Oh, we have enough small eggs. So, so we're cooking quickly. If you'd like to learn a thing or two about cooking, please visit me at any time. Goddess, watch over you. I mean, this guide so far is working fine. Oh, this guide is going all the way up to level 60. Yeah, this guide is actually working perfectly fine. Also. <clears throat> Always log out close to the innkeeper, so you get double the rested XP. Uh, which is the... it's supposed to be a blue bar. But guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.